everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the Royal Velvet Drive and Preamp from Greer Amps. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way it won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to the Royal Velvet and all the gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. So Guerrilla Ramps have released two pedals recently from their XFR series that are designed to be preamps that use a real transformer internally as well. So the one we're looking at today is the Royal Velvet, but we are going to be looking at the Simon 63 as well, which is kind of like a brown face fender in a pedal. But the Royal Velvet seats capture those classic British Vox times, giving us all the chime that you'd expect and really turning your amp into another amp with this pedal. It's a great unit in itself by using it to get some drive with just some clean amp times. But for me, where it really shines is actually treating it like an amp, using it as the last pedal in your chain or before your modulation and delay and reverb if you want a more like Vox with an effect sleep. Or you can even use it last if you want to really treat it like an amp and run all your effects running into the input just like if you're using a real Vox amp. So on the front of the pedal we have a volume, gain and time, pretty self-explanatory. You can run the pedal off 9 volts or 18 volts for more headroom and I'm going to be running on 18 volts for this. Like I said the XFR series all have a real transformer inside to really give us that amp tone, character and feel and how it reacts to your different guitars and different pedals running into it. So we're going to check it out with three different guitars today. We're going to use my Matmul S Classic for some Strat tines, my Matmul T Classic for some Tele tines, and my 1959 reissue ES-235 with Monty's low output PF humbucking pickups for some humbucker tines. Signs. With each guitar, we're going to run the light speed into it as well as running just the pedal by itself just to hear how it reacts with an overdrive. And then when I'm using the 335, we're going to run some different pedals into there, like modulation and delay and so on. So the amp I'm using today is my Hampstead RA60 Plus RT, which is one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps that's running into the Tyne King Iron Man 2 attenuator just to knock off a few dBs. And then the speaker's been recorded by a Lewitt MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So the Matmul S Classic straight into the amp sounds like this
So there we have it. That was a look at the Royal Velvet Drive and Preamp from Grey Ramps. The second pedal in their XFR series that are designed to really replicate the sound, feel, and character of these classic amps, all while using a real transformer inside. Like I said, you can get some killer drive times from this, but for me, where it really shines is to really treating it like an amp and running other pedals into it. We checked out each guitar with the light speed running in, and then finally the 3 3 5 with some more different pedals so you can really see what it's doing to our time. So this is a really great pedal if you want to almost create a second channel for your amp or just get some really classic Vox times, either for you straight in, getting some drive from the pedal or running your pedals into it, which is my favorite way to do it. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of the Royal Velvet and if you go and pick one up for yourself. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry and thanks for watching.